Port Grace in the Barnstable Valley, usually a place of nature walks and light-hearted banter about trains and plumbing. But tonight, we explore the shadows. Well, one shadow in particular that comes back again and again, when the weather is frightful. Unless you're something mysterious, in which case you'd find it perfect. I speak, of course, of the slightly haunted caboose, one of our community's more reliable phenomena. In the Port Grace Paranormal Society's Guide to Ghostly Ephemera and Italian Cookbook, something is said to be slightly haunted, when in the presence of something unexplained, you can hear spooky, cacophonous violins emerge in the night, causing passers-by to shudder, and those living near the tracks to call 911 and complain about it. Wait a minute, here comes a train now! and I think our slightly haunted caboose is bringing up the rear. Let's listen ever so closely for signs of slightly ghostly goings-on. Very faint, but the sounds of wraith-like violins were definitely in the air. In the interests of paranormal science, let's see if we can hear them again. Remember, listen very, very closely, or you might miss them. So what caused such a strange, yet nonetheless slight, haunting? Well, legend has it that a mysterious white lady, so named for her choice of attire, climbed out of a nearby lake and boarded the caboose while it traveled through the Rockies. At the time, a veteran train hand named Old Naughty was taking a nap after a long shift and would have continued napping if the mysterious white lady hadn't brought with her a boombox on which she played a tape of the weird violins, presumably to add drama and intrigue to her otherworldly arrival. So old Naughty was awakened by the strings, became aware of the ghostly and somewhat wet apparition, then died of fright when he saw that the white lady bore a shock-inducing resemblance to a former girlfriend who was dead to him because she wouldn't agree to a second date. To quote Supertramp, not much of a girlfriend. Of course, it couldn't have been her because she was at that moment in Schenectady with her husband, participating in a panel discussion on rare postage stamps and their impact on geopolitical affairs. As we've heard, the white lady and her violin recordings continue to haunt the caboose, albeit only slightly. As for her real identity, that mystery may never be solved. But there are theories, chilling, spine-tingling theories, all of which are written of in the guide, which sadly is now out of print, but comes up occasionally on eBay. Next time you find yourself near a passing train, listen carefully as the caboose goes by. It might be slightly haunted too.